morning, El Dorado. Today is March 15th, 2012. I'm Annabelle Boyanova. And I'm Paige Mariello, and you're watching Hawk Talk. So Paige, do you know why we don't have school tomorrow? We're such great students that we get the day off? Not quite. Tomorrow's a furlough date, which means we don't have school because our teachers aren't getting paid in order to cut the school budget. Furlough days don't sound so great now. Let's hear more about them from Hawk Talk reporter Matt Summerlin. A furlough day is when the state can't pay our teachers, so we just don't have school. Well, with the uh, current e economic crisis, the state's budget crisis, there's not enough money to fund uh, K-12 education at previous levels, so they're reducing the number of school days so they don't have to pay the employees on those days. We have to do a lot more work outside of school that we would normally do in class, so it just makes it a lot more difficult to get things done. We lose days to learn stuff for the test, and I think that's you know, negative towards us. And our teachers really stress out because they don't have enough time to properly prepare us. Well, with every teacher, it's going to affect their teaching because obviously you have fewer days to teach the same amount of material. But with history teachers, I think something people, people often don't think about is with history, each year that goes by, we have a little bit more subject matter to teach. And it seems like each year that goes by, we have a little less time to teach it. Uh, the only way to avoid more furlough days is for the state to have more revenue. Um, and as a matter of fact, on the uh, Nove November ballot, there's going to be at least one initiative, one proposition, which will, uh, would then raise the amount of state revenue that would provide more money. That would include money for K-12 education. Well, Hawks, take a closer look at what our social science department really is like when we're not watching. Mr. Thomas, can I talk to you for a second? Something's off. Cav is fighting with me even more lately. Seriously, do we need any more Diet Coke in here? Look, there's no room for your health food up here, all right? Take your peanut butter, take your celeries and your almonds, get them out. We've there's three shelves of Diet Coke in here. Well, girl needs your Diet Coke, Lucas. I think it's something about Mrs. Ammon. But whatever, I'm not gonna get involved. So I've kind of been thinking, I may not vote this year. Who does she think she is? Doesn't she know the four most important rules of social science? We are lucky to be an American, don't talk to the police, jury duty is fun, and everybody has to vote. All right, people, it's on, a dunk dunk. Shun Mrs. Day begins immediately at 2.45, as soon as that bell rings. She is shunned. But we're a department. Shouldn't we stick together? No! This is important. Everybody has to vote. Anyone worthy of being an El Dorado social science teacher, of course they would vote. What's going on? I think they know. Do you have any clue of what's going on? I have no clue at all. Guys, move your feet. Move your feet. Come on now. Well, Hawks, remember to vote if you don't want to be shunned. So, Hawks, have you taken the Terry Conley Memorial March Challenge yet? Come to room 206 today at lunch to play cards and board games and earn your Terry Conley key. In other news, CSF is collecting new, used, and gently worn shoes this week for the, and for the rest of the week to support Soul for Souls. Please drop off your shoes in room 402 and 704. Now, as you may have heard, WASC is coming to our school. Let's learn a little bit more about WASC and what it means to El Dorado. What in the heck is WASC? Every six years, high schools are evaluated to make sure they're doing the best job possible. And the organization that evaluates the schools is the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, or WASC. From March 26 to 28, a WASC team will be on campus at El Dorado observing our everyday activities. Members of the visiting team will be speaking to teachers, administrators, parents, and students, individually and in groups. They might even ask to speak to you. Some possible questions could be, 
What are you working on? How does your teacher grade your work? What do you think about the condition of the campus? What are the school's Esslers, and how are they connected to what you do in class? If you get asked a question, be courteous to our guests and give them a real, genuine response. Show your hawk pride and make them feel welcome. Let's see how our hawks did this week with sports. <laughs> Baseball beat Bray 8-2. Pitcher Kyle Toomey is 2-0 in season and they play Esperanza on Friday at the St. Patrick's Day game. Boys Volleyball beat Canyon 3-1. Jordan Brown had 11 kills and Eric Rowe had 13. They play Esperanza today. Boys Tennis beat Canyon 11-7. Senior Jack Ventura Cruz is undefeated in singles and they play Esperanza today at home. Boys Golf beat Valencia 194-205. Matt Lutz shot two under par. They play at El Medina on Tuesday. Girls Lacrosse beat Laguna Hills 14 to 10. Haley Myers scored six goals and Ashley Icott scored five. They take on Modern Day next Friday. Hey seniors, have you done all your community service hours yet? May 1st is the deadline to turn in your hours in order to meet the graduation requirement of 40 hours. If you're not sure how many you have, you can check your online areas account under activities and awards. See Mr. Galati in the office if you have any questions. Now hear the rest of this week's extra announcements. There's a club class meeting today at lunch. Bring your paperwork. The SBI club will be talking all about zombies today at lunch in room 511. If you would like to be a part of the creative writing journal, submit your work today. See your language arts teacher, Mrs. Wolf, or art teacher for details. Attention university-bound juniors. To prepare for the SAT test, we're offering a mock exam on Saturday, March 31st for $15. For more information, see counseling. Jostens will be on campus today for senior, junior, and sophomore class ring orders. If you love the Hunger Games, come to the library on Wednesday at lunch. We will be raffling off two Hunger Game books. Senior kickball tournament. Sign-ups are at lunch this week. There's a very special prize for the winning team, so make sure you come and play this Saturday. There will be a representative from the United States Military Academy on Tuesday, March 20th at 9 a.m. Please see Ms. Nielsen in the counseling office to receive your pass. If you still need your ASB application, please go to the activities office to see Mr. Camposano. Hey seniors, scholarships are now available at counseling. Come by and pick one up. The application is due April 6th. Revolution Prep is offering SAT prep classes to prepare for the May 5th and June 2nd SAT. The first session begins March 17th. Come to the counseling office to find out more information. Cirque Day Sadies is this Friday from 8 to 11. Tickets are $15 with ASB and $17 without. There will be no coat check at Sadie, so please no purses. Hey students, are you interested in joining Hawk Talk? Tune in next week to learn more about how you can become part of our Hawk Talk family next year. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of our show. I'm Paige Mariello. And I'm Annabelle Boyanova. Stay golden, Hawks.